Hi there, thanks for joining me today. My name is Tracy Carter and I'm the Dean of Community and Wellness. The tips I had planned to share with you today were around anxiety, but I'm going to switch that up a bit and here is why. The term anxiety can get confusing for people because often adults and students use that term to describe an experience that they've had, when many times the experience is actually worry and stress. Now, those feelings, too, can turn into anxiety, but not necessarily. Anxiety is a clinical diagnosis based on physical, behavioral, cognitive, and emotional symptoms. While each of those symptoms are complex, young people who are diagnosed will often express feelings of perfectionism, and none of us are perfect. When their symptoms overly impair their function of being a kid and prevents them from, say, going to school, that isn't typical kid worry or stress. So I want to focus my tips today on the worry and the stress. Tip one, reassure your child that they are safe. Let them talk about their worries, whether you agree with them or not. How they are feeling about not being at school right now can be a powerful conversation to share with. During remote learning, try and limit their exposure to the news. Create a flexible but consistent routine. And don't be afraid to share how you're coping. Make sure that your child feels heard. Tip two, help your kids to keep in contact with family and friends. Ask them questions about their friends to see if they're reaching out on a regular basis. Encourage your child to connect through text, phone calls, or even virtual visits. I realize we might all have Zoom fatigue, but I know for me, when I can see our students' faces in virtual person, it reassures me that they're okay. Tip three. This is nothing new, but it's worth repeating. Make sleep a priority. Fit exercise in every day. Hydrate. Yes, hydrate. Our brain functions optimally when it's hydrated. Use a planner. Have your child map out their week to know what commitments they have coming up and to keep them from guessing what will need to be done. Tip four. If the worry and the stress escalate, redirect their attention. Being flexible with their day isn't going to be the end of the world. Keep an eye out for the should and shouldn't statements. Sometimes their thoughts aren't always accurate and redirection is a positive tool. And last, tip five. I think someone really knew what they were talking about when they said laughter is the best medicine. Did you know that laughing releases endorphins? Did you know it stimulates circulation? Laughing can decrease our stress-making hormones and actually reduce the effects of stress. So make sure your child and the entire family laugh every day. And remember, we are all learning. 